story short. The cars are going to bunch up. We're going to get ourselves set to go green flag racing with our feature race tonight. 25 laps. The flag comes down. It's high. Uh, caution's going to come out. It's that was grabs went so far. Look at this. Tanner Emon is not starting on the inside. He's starting on the outside right behind Grayson. Grab line drops. And that's better. That was a whole lot better start. Look at Grayson Joel decided he's going to wait until he crosses to start pitted line to end up at the front of the pack. <laughs> the right way that time. Exactly. But interestingly enough, Tanner Emon was right behind. And those two are going to keep battling. And here they come by the tower. on our side of the car, Tanner Emon, as they go down the back straight. Yeah, Tanner Emon in that car, I think Grayson is 10 or 11 years old. I think Tanner is 12 years old. Both of them are going to be racing that for the last round. That covers anything under 14 years of age, up to then either the Mini Cups or the Bantam. And so they kind of race these cars till they're 14 years of age, and then they can get into whatever they call them. That was really my next question. What would be the next step of the man who here at 14 years old? Well, it could be anything. We have had late model racers at 14, so it just whatever they're comfortable with, and however daddy's pocketbooks are. <laughs> so these, okay, so how do you judge your comfort level, right? So, Cody, you started in the mini stock. And look at this, 
they are still bumper to bumper. The entire time by. Yep, and now Tanner's going to try to make a move on the inside. They're going to have to go by either side of Sedan. And look at this, Tanner Elon on the inside. Going to make a move on Grayson Jewel. Or Jewel has to go ahead and give up that inside racing line. And now they'll come out of quarter number four down the front straight. In the quarter one and two with the new leader is the 1088 of Tanner Emon. You know, I'm going to call a veteran move people out there. Like, that was just a... That was truly a veteran move. I mean, you can call your own... Yeah, coming out of that corner slippery, but... No, saved it and was able to... Uh, it looked like trying to get to the inside of the 88 car. Couldn't find it, but then, like you say... Got a little slippery there, but did a nice job. Because these cars are all about the holding up throttle, and they don't go to get by by being a perfect driver and fucking the perfect line. And I don't think that this car also is a right now. Follow and boy, I tell you, Maya Stewart, Charlie Carrier, Taya Sedan, all did a remarkable job in moving out of the way and being courteous. Courteous because they were all in the same way. 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 And now look at this. Oh, 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 that's probably not the right thing to do. Gets spun around and you know it looks like he probably shaved most of that speed off with the 11 degrees that is at the top of that pack. Uh, however, that yeah definitely was contacting. Yeah, that was a hard knock as Tanner went hard into that back wall, concrete and all between quarters three and four. As he got pushed between three and four by the 51 car and ended up spinning, lost the hood on the way in. Good news is it's him away from the right. Tanner just the old theory on it for sure. So green flag comes out to Barney and a very interesting start Gary, Charlie Carrier are gonna be able to make a move and so do it. Grace and June with the 51. She started to make the move up. Tanner Emon's testing up that car. Yeah, I'm gonna say by the looks of Tanner's car, something is definitely been on there. Well, the 42 from Charlie Carrier is walking away as well right now as Charlie is out in front. That is the 27 of the Bay of Stewart on the track right now. Check 
Patriot flag in the 